Thanks, Kevin. All right, Kevin, thousands of people forced from their homes in Southern California need help. That's where Channel 8 and our Community Pride partners have stepped in. Polly Gonzalez joins us with an update. Polly. Paula and Dan, first of all, I want to thank our viewers out there because they have been truly generous. Take a look behind me and you can see that we have a number of workers feverishly trying to put things in this truck. And this truck you see right here is nearly loaded, pampers and, and snacks and different toiletries that people will be needing down in Southern California. Folks have been forced out of their homes. But then if we could pan over to the left, uh, Scott, here at the water here, I also want to pass on a, a request by the Las Vegas Fire Department and the Clark County department as a matter of fact from us here at channel 8 as well and that is no more water we can't accept any more water now if you've purchased water with the intent of bringing it on down go ahead we'll still take it but the fire department say they are overwhelmed and thank you very much but they will not be accepting any more water at this time now as you mentioned we here at channel 8 are very fortunate to have a partnership with our community pride sponsors but we also have community leaders who've really stepped up to the plate for this cause uh, joined right here right now by Joanne Malone of Ronald McDonald House and Philip Bouchard of National Title and you guys have some money for us. Yes, we do. You know, people in the community know what Ronald McDonald House Charities is all about, and we take care of families that find themselves here seeking medical treatment for their children, but we also go out into the community to provide services um, for the families that need us, and we just felt, thanks to the support of our community and our sponsors and donors, that we're able to contribute what we're giving today with the personal hygiene kits and, and paper goods, and um, Philip would like to tell you about our monetary donation. Polly, uh, Joanne and I were talking about what the Ronald McDonald House could do to help the folks in Southern California and then uh, that conversation spilled over to my brother and I at National Title and we decided that we would like to get involved as well. So we decided to do a couple things and one is um, uh, make a contribution of $5,000 to help the efforts in Southern California and then I issued a challenge to my competitors um, which I think is kind of a common thing to do and we were able to raise a total of $18,000. I've got a check for $2,000 from United Title, $2,000 from Fidelity National Title, $2,000 from Nevada Title, $1,000 from First American, $1,000 from Tycor, and uh, we're just real happy that we could be a part of this and uh, come down here today to be with you. Okay, Mr. Bouchard, and I had to let him get all of those uh, names in because, again, people have been very generous. We thank you, and we will check back in with you, Dave and Paula, at the bottom of the hour. We we'll have more stories to share. Mm -hmm. That's great. Polly, uh, I got a phone call from a viewer who said we needed dog and cat food too, but that's not the case, is it? Well, apparently the shelters in I, Southern California are taking care of them, according to Melissa Cipriano. And, 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 and I, I, I imagine that's probably true. But then again, uh, they're a little confused because, as you know, we've been showing them the stories of the animals that have been displaced. Yeah. They're so moved. And so they kind of, kind of act with their hearts. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Let's pass that along as well. They really probably don't need any food at this time for the animals. Thanks, Polly. Okay. Thanks, Polly. It's great stuff out there. Let's go back out to Polly Gonzalez with the donations from our Community Pride partners. Polly. Paula and Dave, the donations continue to stream in. We've received a lot of things that are going to help the folks out there in Southern California. And you can see our volunteers continue to pack things up. They're going to continue to load the trucks. I think this truck here is pretty much loaded up and we'll be loading up one more. Well. All of this effort is on behalf of our Community Pride sponsors and their California disaster relief effort. Now, I want to make sure we thank as many people as possible, like this huge donation that we received earlier today, and also the individuals out there, like one man who once lived in Southern California. Oh, I grew up in Southern California, and I know the area, and there's a lot of people there that don't have a lot and it's burning up like crazy that, that everybody who comes from Southern uh, California music or from Las Vegas comes from Southern California and that's the least we could do. Just want to remind you folks out there, that's one reason a man out there in our community decided to donate. And whatever your story, we will be out here until this Friday collecting. We're at 3228 Channel A Drive. We're between Convention Center and DI. We are just east of the Strip. And it, a complete list of the items that are needed down south are on our website at KLES TV. I want to thank the United Way volunteers. Also want to thank Enterprise, Budget Truck Rentals, and the Salvation Army for one of their trucks. Also want to leave you with one thing, Dave and Paula. When all of these items arrive in Southern California, one of our viewers out there is hoping that 
the folks out there will see this sign reminding them that our thoughts are with the folks in Southern California who many have lost everything. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, and we'll send it back to you. That's a nice thought. Thank you, Polly. Well, it's great to see you. That's mm -hmm. it for Channel Eye Witness News Live at 6. Entertainment tonight is next. Back at 11, and Gary will have more live reports.